Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by and seeing what I have in store for you this time. Um, and this time it's another Stitch Fix box. Um, I couldn't resist. Uh, they did take forever to ship it just like because of the circumstances going on right now, but it's fine. It's fine. So a funny story about this box, I had gotten the notification saying that it was delivered. I live in an apartment complex and it was nowhere to be found. So I called FedEx and I was like, me, 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 because they do that. They've done that where they've said it's delivered and it was not. So I was like, you guys messed up. You need to find my package. Well, the next day, some girl, little girl, walks up to our door and knocks on it and says, I think we got this and I accidentally opened it because I thought it was for me and she was so like upset and so forgiving and I was like it's okay <laughs> she's like I promise I didn't take anything I'm like I okay now I'm suspicious but it's fine we'll see I haven't even opened it yet I trusted her that she didn't take anything out and I still trust her um but I just thought that that was kind of funny <laughs> Because she felt so bad. I'm like, it's okay. It happens. I'm not, it's fine. It's okay. Well, anyways, so like I said, I have not looked at this at all. No idea. I've had this for a couple of days now. Oh, she wrote a little note. To Kate, that's my last name. It's fine. To Katie from Next Door Neighbor. She wrote me a note. Oh my gosh, we have to read it. Hi, Katie. I'm sorry I opened your package. I'm in the next apartment over and I also have <laughs> the same house number as you. So I didn't look at the address. I am truly sorry. She is so cute. I'm telling you, she felt so bad. That was sweet as heck. I love her. I'm going to adopt her. Okay, so what do we got? She really didn't do much, it looks like. All right, here's the little return package. The little book with all of our prices, I'm interested. This other little pamphlet, I don't, have, I don't wanna give it away. Yeah, she ripped it open, but she left everything how it was. She probably saw 3X and she's like, I'm not a 3X. <laughs> so that's totally fine, she's a sweetheart. All right, let's get into this. All right, let's just do it. Oh, ho ho. Okay, so this is a top? Oh, like a cold shoulder top. Okay. What do you guys think of this pattern? I think it's nice. And it has this like, it's super stretchy right there. Um, what's this brand? All right, the brand Spees Woman in a 3X. Let's see, Spees, Spence? Spence, I can't read. All right, so this is a Rosati cold shoulder blouse in a 3X for $58. Yeah, so it's nice. It looks like it'll be nice and fitted around the bosom. And then it looks like it'll flow out nicely from there. Okay, I love this color. I'm digging yellow always, so very nice. Oh, we didn't read the note from the stylist. God, no one reminded me. All right, let's try this again. Hello, Katie. I hope this fix finds you well and brings a bright spot to your day. Thanks so much for your notes for this fix. I do not remember what I said, full disclosure. We unfortunately did not have a fun pair of printed pants available to send this time. Well, that's what I asked for apparently. So please be sure to let me know if this is something you're still on the hunt for next time. Since you love bright colors, I thought you would enjoy the Curve Appeal jeans, ooh, jeans, for an easy way to add a pop of color to your look. Try pairing with the Brenna and M top for easy pairing. Next, I chose the Eloquy dress. I thought you would love the bright colors, a mix of unique prints. The style can be dressed up for a night out or even dressed down with a denim jacket and sandals. I can't wait to read what you think. All my best, Brittany. Well, snap, I'm psyched. None of you reminded me to read that note. That's on you. All right, moving on. Oh, I like this material. Oh, ooh. sorry, I'm like blocking y'all. Let's see. All right, this is the Eloquy Top Refinery 29. 
Um, okay. Thelma printed slip woven dress at 22 in a 22 for $99.95. This is cool. Look at this pattern. Look how cool that is. Oh, I'm stoked. Little spaghetti straps. Oh, this is cute. Oh, goodness. It's like a handkerchief style dress. Look at all these cool patterns, guys. This is cool. I'm digging all the weird patterns. Digging it. Oh, I like this. Okay. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, so this looks like a little... It's like stretchy at the top, so it might be like the shoulder revealing top. You know what I'm saying? Little buttons on the front. Oh, I like that color and the pattern is nice. Yes. Okay, what is this? West Key. I cannot cyan. Off the shoulder blouse and a 3X for 44. This is nice. And the sleeves are elasticy as well. Okay. Loving these colors. Ooh. Oh, this is so soft. Wow, look at this, guys. Can you see? that? That's so nice. Really nice. Okay. Sorry, I'm like excited. Okay. This is the Br Brina and M. Brina. Um, Kelson tie front textured knit top. Ooh, 3X, $38. It's tie front? <gasps> oh. I'm obsessed with tie fronts right now. So, um... And 38 bucks, that's a good price. Welp, Brittany, you're killing it. Oh my. Bright red pants, people. Bloop. All right, so what is this? Curve Appeal Archer Compression Jeggings in a 22 for $78. And I got this little, just says what it's about here. So shaping and some word I don't know. System. I know that word, I swear. Curve appeal compression. Wow. I bet these will be too long. Yep, no distressing or anything. Just a totally skinny jegging. With the butt pockets. Oh my gosh, the front pockets aren't real though. That's kind of a bummer. These are nice. Red jeans. I don't know, man. They're nice, though. Ooh, I'm excited to try all this stuff on. Let's do it. I really like this one, guys. It's, like, secure right here, but not tight. I love this pattern. I love that it's long. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think this is lovely. I'm digging all of these different patterns and stuff. Wow. I don't know. For $99. It's like, like I said, it's like that handkerchief style. No stretch at all whatsoever. Um, I think this, yeah, the straps are adjustable, which is nice. I definitely like this. I don't know if it's the most like flattering on me. It does just kind of, it's like an A-line situation, but I don't hate it. And I think it's just really unique looking. Yeah, this one's cool. Okay, guys, here is the next look. I am genuinely, <laughs> hey, Chess, I'm genuinely happy about how the jeans fit. They're a little, eh, they're really not even snug, honestly. I love the length, not too long at all. They're not as stretchy as like some jeggings are, but they definitely are comfortable. It's this color though, how much would I wear it? It's funny though, I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of the shirts because it kind of goes with everything else. Um, I like this shirt. It is kind of off the shoulder as I expected, but when you do this, it comes back. So it's like a happy, happy. Um, I hate, as you know, I really hate elastic sleeves. Um, I do like the buttons. They're not real, like they don't open to anything. It's just like a facade, if you will. I have it tucked in. It's really kind of long for me. I mean, I'm short. I'm like five foot, maybe five one. It's nice, but, and it fits great. I mean, I have no complaints about the fit, but 
too long. I'd have to tuck it in all the time. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It is cute though. And the jeans are nice, but the color, I just, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would I really get any use out of these jeans? I have my doubts. Okay, guys, this is adorable. I feel like the cutest, like, little hippie of all time. It has this little bell sleeve situation going on, but it's not too long. It, go, it like, hits me at the perfect spot. And then this whole thing is super stretchy. I honestly feel like it might be too big. I mean... It's pretty big, but I think that's kind of the, the point. Um, yeah, like it's fitted here with all that elasticy stuff. Pull it down a little, maybe. Yeah, it's all fitted here with that like accordion type elastic, and then it just flows out like a baby doll top. It is really cute, and I mean the colors are just adorable. I'm just worried it's too big. Oh, I look so cute. I don't know guys here is the last top um i really do like it it's super stretchy super lightweight um i think it would be really good for summertime and spring if we're ever allowed to like go out there again um i love the sleeves and how they're nice and flowy um it's really really a stretchy material um when you untie they just turn into the the bunny ears so that's not cute, but <laughs> you wouldn't wear it like that either. Anyway, that's what I mean. So you just tie it back up. Yeah, I mean, it is really cute. I love the stretch. Um, it can go down like lower in the back. It's really, I just, you know, I'm a fan. I really like the tie front and $38 is, you know, that's where I'm struggling. That's where I'm struggling. The look is cute. It's like a nice light airy look and the baby blue with the white is just like so classic spring, right? This is a tough one, guys. This is a tough one. I do like it though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was everything in this month's Stitch Fix box. I really did like everything, but I don't think... I'm going to keep anything right now. It's just really hard to justify adding like new stuff to your wardrobe when you're not sure when you're going to be able to use it for one. Like I have no idea the next time I'll be able to wear a pretty dress or a pretty shirt. Like it's hard to come to terms with that, you know? The one shirt that I really, really did consider keeping was that like accordion top yellow floral shirt my issue was the longer that I kept it on that accordion part just kept sliding up over my boobs so that was annoying and I'd have to keep like pulling it down so that it wouldn't move and you have to wear a bra with it I mean it's pretty sheer so I don't know I don't know what like my other options would be it's a shame I really did like that one I thought it was the most unique um the jeans the brand is good. I mean, Curve Appeal, I thought that they fit really well, honestly. I just, the color, I can't really get past it in 78 bucks. I'm, you know, I'm just, and the color is weird. Like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, work pants, but they're jeggings. So it's hard for me to justify when the heck I would wear them, unless I kept everything in this box, which I'm not doing. The dress, I really, really liked, but I don't know hundred bucks and it just wasn't necessarily like flattering it didn't really do anything for me the length was great um I don't know if like for someone taller it would probably supposed to be a midi dress it doesn't specify but um it was cute it really was the patterns were interesting it's just again when the heck am I gonna wear it and two I did a hundred bucks I don't know I'm just not like I don't know guys I'm just not like buying anything right now it's hard you know how am I gonna justify spending how much would this be $208 on all that stuff if I'm not leaving my darn house I'm sure you guys understand that even though I'm not keeping anything I really hope that you enjoyed the ride and seeing all the cool stuff that I got in my stitch fix this month I mean she nailed it she did a great job she picked out some really good pieces I can't knock her for that but it's just not the time. It is just not the time. 
Well, I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, let me know what you guys have been doing to keep your sanity during all of this. Have you been doing a lot of online shopping? I know that I have at least been doing a lot of online window shopping. Um, let me know if there's somewhere you want me to actually buy some stuff from so that we can look at it together. Is there any brands you've been curious about trying? You know, just let me know. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you have something cool to say. And uh, hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I post new stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Find me on Instagram. It's Make It Katie, and we can hook up there. You know, not hook up, but hook up, link up professionally. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.